is your it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we've got a big time leak to bring to you guys in NBA 2K23 my team not only do we got to talk about the end game Dirk Giannis Jokic and Bull Bull we've got Poku Josh Giddy. We also get AK-47 draws and Petrovic point guard card as well as the Gasol brothers as well. Tomorrow's content is absolutely elite. Now here's the deal guys. I've been saying for a while we need Yao or Taco to really ramp things up, really change some things around. Is that the case? I mean, I don't know. Because tomorrow's drop, you're getting the best point guard in the game. Probably the second best point guard in the game. Probably the best small forward in the game outside of Wemby. As well as, you know, maybe another top five small forward in Dirk. Then if you want to talk about the Invincibles, AK going to be one of the best shooting guards in the game. Poku is a seven foot small forward that is going to be 5,000 MT. I'm telling you guys, tomorrow's content is going to be something special. Now, let's start at the back with Josh Giddy. Now, as we dive into Josh Giddy, guys, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are on the road towards 120,000 subscribers. Josh Giddy, 6'8", okay? His release leaves a little bit to be desired. I feel like the big thing for Josh Giddy is, you know... Again, are they going to change his release? Because if they don't change his release, I don't think the card can be great. I don't love his release. I think it's baited. I think it's a low release point. It's easy to contest. I just do not love it in my team. As far as Poku, he's seven feet tall. He can get the job done at pretty high levels in my team. The thing for me with Poku, I would say is, you know, his release isn't necessarily bad, but I think it could definitely be improved upon. So I don't expect 2K to go through and change Poku's release, although I kind of wish they personally would. But, you know, the Thunder, OKC, uh, Poku, and Giddy uh, kind of duo there. It would be cool to see him get a duo. It's going to be okay. Not great in my team. Then we move on to Draz and Petrovic, who is probably going to get a new release at 6'5". I kind of expect him to be sort of like a Ray Allen that we did recently get in my team. Now, if you guys are a little confused, Ray Allen, Petrovic, they're not even the same. Well, here's the deal. They're both 6'5". They both now have point guard eligibility, and they're both now invincibles. Now, you guys might be wondering, Ty, what did they even do to Ray Allen? They gave him the Coos base on very quick. I don't exactly remember the upper. Was it the Oscar upper? I don't remember the exact upper, but a pretty good upper as well. And now Ray Allen is more than usable. Ray Allen is absolutely really solid in my team and can play at a pretty high level. Now, is he the best point guard in the game? No, I don't think so, but he is a really, really solid option. And then we see AK-47's invincible card, shooting guard. Now, my whole thing is, are they going to change AK's release or not? Because I can go here and I can click on the last AK-47 card we had. And I mean, this card to me is close to an invincible. Like, he's not an invincible. But I mean, what what, what more can he get outside of badges, right? I mean, 6'9", 7 full wingspan, out spots forever, 35 out of famers, 23 on gold. Great defensively, nearly perfect stats, and any, everything outside of the standing dunk is perfect. My whole thing is animations. He already has the trade leaner, already has Yas the slide, Trey size of MJ Dribble style. He's got everything he needs. So sure, yes, the Invincible is going to help him out. Maybe put him as that best overall shooting guard in the game, but is he going to be that? You know, when we do have guys like a Paul George, that's where things get tough for AK. I would like to maybe see what the O'Shea with the Oscar upper would be like, just out of curiosity. I don't know if somebody else has it. I think Agent Zero has it, and I personally love that release. So, then when I update him, maybe just give him the Oscar upper. I think that would do the trick. Now, for the Gasol brothers, I mean, here's the deal, guys. They don't even need to change anything about Mark Gasol at all. I mean, as far as his release. Because this Galaxy Open Marcus Gasol is still one of the best budget cards in the entire game. His player amount is good. I'm at center power for it is good. Keep the release the same, honestly. If you want to upgrade it, sure, but his release doesn't need to. NV slide, keep that the same. Keep all these things the same. His player amount is good. If Marc Gasol stays the same and isn't invincible, people are going to be hyping the card up. Now, Pau Gasol, on the flip side of things... He needs a little bit of a change because Pau Gasol's last jump shot was not great, not ideal. And so he definitely can get an update. Again, what I would like to see, a duo to give him every badge, every stat in the game on 99. That's just what I would like to see because a 7'1 duo of the Gasol brothers, 
and you know making them literally perfect outside of i mean they're basically already perfect you just give them those extra nine or so badges that invincibles don't come with that would be fun to use in my team i do fully expect 2k to update palgasol i'm just a big thing like big fan of the galaxy open market so i don't want them to ruin invincible mark here's the deal for the end games Dirt gonna be seven feet tall at the small forward position. The problem is Bobo is gonna be seven two at the small forward position as an end game. Here's the deal, guys. I love Bobo on my team, and Bobo, as far as his other dark matter cards, are going to get really cheap. So if you don't have Bobo or have never used Bobo, I suggest you know the end game Bobo is gonna be 300k, whatever. The cheap dark matter Bobo should be what 40, 30, 20,000 MT tomorrow. He should go way down in price. And again, Bobo is going to be better than Dirk, but both those cards at this small forward position are going to be absolutely elite. Now, let's look at our point guards. We see point guard Giannis and point guard Jokic. Who do I think is going to be better between Giannis, between Jokic? I think the edge is going to go to Giannis onto the Kumpo. And I think the main reason is because Giannis's player model, in my opinion, I always got to say in my opinion, because some people may disagree with me. It has a better player model than Jokic. Now, for the Joker, he's also 6'11". I do think he's going to be your second best point guard in my team. We've been waiting for the tall point guards to come, and here they finally are. So, what happens if you got point guard bond, point guard magic? Are they suddenly just bad? No. They're still really good, and it is preference-based. Some people are going to prefer Jimmy Butler and Lucas more than Giannis and Jokic. I just think tall players at that point guard position are are extremely valuable and extremely important in my team. So the big upgrades as far as tomorrow's drop is to the point guard position as well as that small forward position. Let's say you're really looking for a new shooting guard. You like Paul George, not liking KD. I mean, you can maybe try AK out. We'll see what he comes with tomorrow. But other than that, not really much there. If you're looking for a power forward center, I mean, the Gasol brothers, Mark and Pau, that's, the, I mean, especially Mark Gasol should be really, really solid in my team. As far as Pau Gasol is concerned, I'm not quite sure about him. So in general, guys, I'm personally pretty excited about this content for, because for the first time in a while, we've got three or four cards who I believe are going to be the best cards at their respective positions. And even a guy like Poku, who should be cheap, should be really solid. You know, the Dark Matter Bull Bull should be cheap. Out of position, Jokic, point guard, should get even cheaper with the end game coming tomorrow as well. So, again, I'm super excited. I need to know your guys' thoughts on the content that is to come to my team tomorrow. Are you guys a fan of it or not? Let me know. And which of these end games are you guys most excited about? As always, guys, don't spend money. It's too late into my team. If you want to spend money on my team, wait until 2K24. That is my strong advice that I would give to each and every one of you guys. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.